So we're introducing the CU mandrel. It's a full length copper receiver welding mandrel. It's designed to eliminate the heat buildup when you're welding a receiver and also uh, eliminate the, the chances of actually burning through the receiver metal. So what you end up doing is taking your folded flat, inserting it into the front of that folded flat and then driving it home. And then from there, you put on the locking block to hold all the seams together. Nice and tight for welding. Then you put in the supplied Torx bolts. Okay, so using your supplied Torx 40 bit, you insert the retainer bolts. The short bolt goes in the front hole and the long bolt goes in the back hole. And just snug, you don't need to get them too tight, just to where it's snug. And then from there, you see how it holds all the seams together nice and tight and ready for welding. Now I'm gonna show you the proper removal process of the mandrel. So what you do is you take out the retainer bolts. And then take off the locking block. And then from there, what you would actually do is the supplied S7 tool steel inserts are designed for interfacing with this tapping rod as well as, well as the, weld, uh, the weapon alignment and welding jig. So I'm gonna show you that in the, another video, but removal is you insert the S7 uh, tool steel interface. What that does is it allows you to put in the tap rod in the end, but then the interface actually distributes the force of tapping it out across the entire mandrel rather than through the threads. So then you just tighten it up. And then from there, you can either bring it down on the table like this and bring it down, or you can actually tap it out with a rubber mallet. And then remove the tap rod. Then you're done.